Hey guys, Gadget Man here with nothing but gadgets, and today I'm going to be showing you the Colado Wi Fi Automatic Pet Feeder. So, three, two, one, let's get at it. Alright guys, so this was sent to me by the Colado company for free to do this review, so that's what I'm going to do. Now, I didn't do an unboxing on this video because the box was damaged in shipping, and so I had to take it out. Um, but this is the device right here, and basically you take it out of the box, this is it. Right inside this compartment right here, you see a little button back here. Okay, you press that down, the lid comes off. All right, and then this is your feed bowl, this is your charger cord right here. And then we've got our feed bowl system down here. And basically just uh, set that down like that. Put your feeder down. See, I'm trying to get a little, get the view in here and just press it down and that's that. You got a battery compartment back here where you can put some uh, D cell batteries in it. But if you prefer to plug it in, you can see there's a little groove right here you can run this, the included power cable, down right here. Run that in there, then out through that. And put your door on here. Okay, turn it up. Like so. And then plug this into a wall socket, okay? And then that's constant power. So it can be battery powered with D-cell batteries, or constant power with um, with the included power cord. All right, and of course you have your buttons over here for programming it and uh, setting it. And then it's Wi-Fi, so I'm assuming there's an app here that we can install and program it that way. So I'm going to be using this with my Shih Tzus. I have some cute little adorable Shih Tzus. I'll throw some pictures up for you. Yes, of course I will. Okay. Um, they are our little children for me and my wife. They are wonderful dogs. If you ever want a lap dog, something that's going to sit with you and just love you to death, you need to get a Shih Tzu. Shih Tzus were specifically bred to be lap dogs, unlike a lot of other small dogs, which were bred for hunting purposes. They're terriers. The Shih Tzu is a Chinese royal dog that was bred specifically to be a lap dog. So if you want a lap dog, there's no better breed on this planet than a Shih Tzu. Okay, plug out there for Shih Tzus everywhere. Okay, love them at the end of this video. I'll tell you a Shih Tzu joke. Okay, all right. So let me get this baby out there. Let me test it with my dogs for a little bit and, uh, you know, see how it works. And then I'll come back and give you a little bit of feedback on how I think this thing works. All right, hold on. I'll be back. All right, guys. So I'm back. And I've been testing out the Colado Pet Feeder for uh, about a week now. I went out of town and had to leave my dogs at home with my son and just left the feeder to take care of them. And it did just fine. It worked. Never had to worry about them having the right amount of food at the right, at the right time of the day. It worked just fine. So it's very simple setup. You just scan and download the Oasis app. Okay. And then um, you follow, walk, follow the walkthrough and add the pet feeder here. And I've already added that. So um, it's going to have to load up here, show the pet feeder. And it's very simple operation. You can do a manual feeding or you can set the time and date for when you want to feed your, uh, your pets, whether they be dogs or cats. And, you know, it has what is called like portion size here. And, you know, you have a one portion and you can feed that. So I took a little video of what one portion looks like. So here I'm going to show you that. Okay, so that's what one portion. It's quite a little bit. It's not very much. I mean, you'd have to be a really small animal that that would be enough for one feeding in the day. Uh, now, for both of my Shih Tzu's, I actually feed about three feedings a piece or three portions a piece um, in the morning and one at night. So that's six portions for two Shih Tzus in the morning and then and then the evening six portions. Uh, so they get fed twice a day and that's about what I normally feed them and it goes off. So if uh, let me show you what five portions looks like. So you can hit, get over here and hit one, two, three, five. So here's what five portions look like.
All right, so, you know, that's a, enough food for one dog or one cat, depending on the size of your animal. Uh, it has a pretty big storage tank. Um, and my my puppies, they immediately went up to it. So here's a picture of my... Uh, I just got it out. I was just still working on it, and my puppy came up and wanted to eat out of it. During the testing, I just pulled back and took a video of it here. Diamond. Okay, so they like it. They immediately went to it. They had no problem. You know, uh, there's not really a whole lot more. I showed you how to put it together, and then the app is pretty easy to use. Um, the only thing about the app is that I ran into a little bit of trouble with is that the app requires uh, 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. It can't work on a 5 gigahertz wi Wi-Fi, and it can't work on a mixed system. I have a 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz router, Asus router, and yeah, I had it on what was called a mix system where both, it basically has both broadcasting and you connect to it and it chooses which is the best one for you. Um, that would not work. The The app would not uh, connect to the, the, the automatic pet feeder using that system. Um, but, you know, it's an IoT device, which means Internet of Thing device. And guys, I'm just not real comfortable connecting IoT devices to my main Wi-Fi network, okay, because um, they're not the most secure de devices on Earth. And if you live in the city, they can be reverse engineered or reverse hacked, like somebody can hack into your pet feeder, and then that grants them access to your main Wi-Fi network, which your, has your computers and all that stuff on it. You don't really want to do that. Uh, so what you want to do is enable the guest network feature, um, which is an isolated guest, guest uh, network from the main. And that's what I did to get the app working was I enabled a 2.4 gigahertz guest network and connected it to that network on my home system. And that allowed it to work just fine. And I work, it works no problem. And once it's connected to Wi-Fi, it, you can use it anywhere in the world through the mobile app. And since it's on a guest network, even if it's reverse hacked, it doesn't give anybody access to your whole main network and your computers and laptops and devices. So it's a lot more safer to do that. That's just a little tech tip there. Use a guest network instead of your main network. Or you can use a separate router, which is dedicated for IoT devices, in which if you have a lot of them, that might be a good idea. Other than that, guys, it worked really good. It's still in there right now feeding the puppies. And, uh, you know, I really like it. So I hope this video has answered your questions. If it hasn't, post a comment and ask me whatever question you need. I'll do my best to answer you in a timely manner. And if I need to produce a little video to help you out, I'll do that as well. I'm here to serve, guys. Let me know how you like this video. Please like and subscribe to my channel. And also share my videos. Help me out, guys. I need to grow the Nothing But Gadgets channel. And I appreciate all my faithful subscribers and followers out there that help me do more for you. Okay, guys. And until next time, this is the Gadget Man saying I'll see you later. Okay guys, so now I'm going to tell you that Shih Tzu joke that I promised to tell you at the beginning of the video. So, a father sent his son on a school field trip to a zoo. When the son got home, the father asked the son how he liked the zoo. The son said, it was a crappy zoo. And the father said, why do you say that? And the son said, well, it only had one animal. It was a Shih Tzu.